If you've ever played the video game named Portal, you're almost certain to know that it looks like an awful lot of fun to travel through the titular portals. Shooting one on a wall and then shooting another somewhere else just to reach a new place opens up an immense amount of creative travel possibilities. And it's only normal for us humans to imagine such an unlikely invention and how it would apply to real-world scenarios. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and enabling all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's get started. What you may not know or expect, however, is that science is actually investigating this phenomenon already. It's largely theoretical in nature, but that doesn't mean that it's entirely impossible. Lisa Randall, a physicist from Harvard University, had gone on record with her belief that there may be parallel universes something scientists have debated on and studied for many, many years now. The alternate dimensions aren't thought to be carbon copies of our universe, but they are thought to coexist with it. And if they do coexist, it's considered plausible that there is some way, however difficult or elusive to find, to cross matter between the two parallel universes. There is even belief that gravity and magnetism are examples of leakage between two dimensions, though it's all very speculative for now. Black holes have long been thought to be a key in interdimensional traveling, and according to various scientists, using them to make fantasy a reality might not be as unrealistic as we once thought. Though extreme gravity and forces within black holes would inevitably destroy most things passing through them by way of crushing, that doesn't inherently mean that humans, in all of our vast intellect, couldn't someday learn a way to harness that power and make it through unscathed. Most scientists believe it's as simple as making your passage through a black hole so quickly that it's virtually instantaneous. National Science Foundation physicist Gaurav Khanna has been recorded saying that it would be like passing your hand over a candle flame. It all happens so quickly that the heat never actually gets a chance to cause any sort of damage. Of course, this type of technology is most likely centuries or more away. Humans would be forced to travel light years away to find a black hole, as they're now only able to be observed using highly powerful tools at places like NASA. So our dreams of interdimensional travel through black holes probably isn't something we're going to hear much, if anything, about during our lifetimes. But our future generations may someday learn to harness that power and travel effortlessly throughout the galaxies, if any of the theories surrounding parallel universes and black holes turn out to be surprisingly true. In the meantime, however, the bigger question we all have is, what would it actually look like to be able to use this technology in real-world situations? What if we could quickly hop between multiple rooms in our home, or rapidly teleport from the bottom of a skyscraper to the top? Even more, what if we could teleport across the globe or the galaxy? There are a million questions, but things could be pretty fun to say the least. It's unlikely that portals would be an easy technology to master. It'd likely take decades or more to perfect the hardware responsible for harnessing the power and unleashing it just perfectly. One would assume that this would result in the technology being prohibitively expensive in the early years of existence. Extraordinarily rich people would likely use them, or sell them, to increase their presence and therefore their worth. Scientists would likely use them to help them learn even more about the universe and quickly transfer matter between labs at the flip of a switch. Hospitals could use them to transfer doctors from one hospital to another to effectively have the best doctor for each individual case available for virtually any problem that arose. Construction companies could eventually use them to transfer materials quickly to help build structures rapidly. The entire food industry would likely be able to use the portals to move produce, meats and more to various stores that could afford to use the portals. This would likely drastically extend expiration dates for most meats and perishables, so that companies wouldn't have to use trucks, trains or planes to transfer their goods. Sadly, it would also probably mean that trucking companies, transport ships and trains would lose a significant portion of their contracts, leading to workers losing their jobs. 
Residential life could change exponentially as people began to have extremely fast access to and from places. Though in the early years where portals were only set up in specific spots, it's unlikely that cars and planes would be entirely useless, as people would need to travel to portal locations. But as the technology advanced to allow portals to exist in homes, a whole new world would open up, almost literally. People could easily visit families by simply requesting that they open their portals for them. Certainly, technology would exist to safeguard against hacking of portals, to allow robbers to sneak in and steal things through the portals, and location tracking would likely be a thing, so that people weren't able to just go anywhere anytime to escape the law. Imagine being able to wake up hungry and order food from your local breakfast restaurant. Suddenly, they request that you turn on your portal, and surprise! You have eggs and dinner delivered directly to you through the portal in your kitchen. Later, you find yourself needing some new clothes, so you hop in your portal and go check out the nearest store in under 5 seconds, make your purchase, and return home without ever missing a beat. Things that once took hours or days would suddenly take seconds or minutes. Need a haircut? Walk through a portal and tell them how you'd like it. Need some food? Walk through a portal and grab a grocery cart. Want to catch a movie at your local theatre? Walk on through and order some popcorn, then walk through another portal to your seat and enjoy. Instead of having a garbage can, you'd simply transfer your trash through a portal to a waste dump. And if technology existed to do so yet, that dump would transfer your trash into the vast emptiness of space to float away, preserving our Earth a bit more. Got old things you don't want anymore? You could easily just transfer them out to someone else quickly and efficiently, making decluttering your home easier than ever. And again, since anything no one wanted could be transferred to the infinite space, truly unwanted objects wouldn't have to clutter Earth at all. We may never know what this type of convenience will look like, and there's always the chance that it'll never exist at all. Science is still learning and discovering new things about the state of our current universe right now. So the thought of concurrent universes all existing at the same time opens up an overwhelming amount of new things to understand and learn. In the meantime, it looks like they'll have to take a car to that movie. Hopefully, it's worth it. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. So please consider subscribing, as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.